There you can see uh, a straight shot uh, through that pressurized mitting adapter, and then the international docking adapter. And then uh, you can actually just make out a little bit of that Crew Dragon hatch that will soon be opening. There, the crew gracious enough to give us a bit of a zoom there. And there you go. There, there it is. There's the hatch. It's worth noting that the pressurized mating adapter is actually how the uh, space shuttle also docked with the International Space Station. Station on two, uh, five point seven. Without... We're ready for final Dragon hatch equalization. Checking. We will oh, we're actually right now seeing some uh, live views inside the Crew Dragon spacecraft right there. You can see Ripley sitting over in the uh, far left seat. And of course, the zero gravity indicator, which has taken the liking to that footrest on the closest seat uh, to the screen. To you, at this time, we are ready for you to pick back up in the procedure. In 6.1, you have a go to proceed with mass donning, and we'll be standing by for the comm check. So on the right-hand side of your screen, inside the space station, you can see those crew members donning those uh, protective masks just as a precaution as they enter the uh, Dragon spacecraft. Yeah, it's really unique to have this this perspective to have from from both sides. So standing by for hatch open. Station, Dragon Hatch opened at 1307. Copy. And there you have it. Dragon Hatch is open. Anne McLean made the call. It was 507 a.m. Pacific. I think 807 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm doing some quick math in my head, and that's the International <laughs> Space Station and Dragon dock together flying over the northern Atlantic, about 255 statute miles in the air. So the Dragon Hatch is open. You can see an arm and reaching this is, in. This is the very first time that humans have been on orbit inside of a Dragon 2 capsule. Or any, oh, excuse me, not any Dragon, oh, a Dragon 2 capsule. <laughs> All right, again, so it looks like David St. Jock, he's going to be the first one through. He's going to take some quick atmospheric readings. Uh, he's using a device that we have over on the U.S. side. There he is, David inside, inside of Dragon, human beings inside the Dragon spacecraft. You might hear some uh, cheers here from uh, SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne. Uh, this is just an incredible sight for the SpaceX team uh, to see these ISS crew members inside the capsule. All right, again, if you're just now tuning in, you're seeing human beings inside of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. It's David St. Jacques and Oleg Konyanko from Expedition 58. They're already moving some of the cargo around. Uh, they're in there taking some atmospheric readings. That hatch was opened at 5.07 a.m. Pacific, 8.07 a.m. Eastern, while the station was flying just about 255 statute miles over the northern Atlantic. Getting, this, getting our split screen view back. So the one on the left, that camera is inside of Dragon. That camera on the right is inside of Node 2, looking down the pressurized mating adapter into the Dragon spacecraft. Hatch open. That white box moving around inside the international docking adapter right there is uh, one of the pieces of cargo that Dragon took up. Uh, as Dan said, that cargo is stored down below the crew area, below where the seats are. And it looks like they are already transferring some of that cargo out. 